Welcome back to Tech Time. I'm Stan, and this is my third autococker related episode. In this video, we are going to be sweet spotting these two cockers here today. One is a full bodied autococker that is pump action, and one is a mid block autococker that is electronic. The process is nearly identical for both and is transferable to pretty much every poppet style valve. But wait, what is meant by sweet spotting, you say? Well, sweet spotting is the optimization of your air pressure and your valve. The more pressure your marker has going through it, the more velocity you're going to get. But only to a point, the excess pressure will actually hold the valve shut and decrease your velocity rather than increase it after it's become excessive. If we were to chrono our gun while sweet spotting, which we will in just a minute, the results would end up being a bell curve. The highest point on the chart is where the sweet spot lies. The sweet spot is where the pressure is yielding the maximum velocity, yet just before the point where the valve is getting held shut. Benefits of operating in the sweet spot include better efficiency, smoother operation, more consistent shots, and it will cure autococker farting, which is when the hammer bounces slightly on the valve when you shoot and results in a stutter opening of the valve, and it's like a little <laughs> when you shoot. You, you probably know what it sounds like if you've experienced it before. To sweet spot, you're going to need the screws for your regulator and IVG or internal velocity governor. You will also need a chronometer. I have one on hand here. Um, having a chrono is mandatory or sweet spotting will be basically pointless as you need those measurements to get your adjustments right. I highly recommend you use a barrel kit and size your paintballs accordingly when you're doing this. A poor paint to barrel match could cause erratic velocity readings and confuse the data. I am using a reball today, so I need to bring out my smallest bore sizes. For a good paint to barrel match, the paintball will sit in the bore and easily move if pushed, but not roll down the barrel on its own. If the paintball is too snug, you risk a barrel break. If it is too loose, it will roll down the barrel, like you can see here with this blue freak insert. This is only in closed bolt markers, however. I have a freak insert in this Deadly Wind barrel sized perfectly to reball, so that won't be an issue for me today. And the A-plus machine barrel in camo I have on the right is uh, using a very small bore back, 0.675, which seems to fit reballs perfectly as well. Note that both of these barrels were sent in for testing and uh, donated by the respective companies, so thank you Deadly Wind and A-plus paintball. There will be links to the websites in the description and at the end of the video. Okay, now onto the markers. First, we are going to remove the bolt and caulking rod from the sniper. Then we are going to rotate the back block to the side so we can have access to the IVG or internal velocity governor. Before we start and air the gun up, you will need to screw your IVG out until it is flush with the back of your frame. Next, screw it back in two to three turns and put your bolt and caulking rod back in. Next, I will do the same to the mid-block autococker, but this time, I don't have to remove anything first because it doesn't have a back block. Same deal, unscrew the IVG until it is flush with the back of the frame, and then put it back in two to three turns. Next, we are going to do what is called zeroing out the regulator. What that means is screwing the regulator's adjustment screw in all of the way. This will result in the pressure output from the reg getting reduced to the lowest point possible, hence zeroing out. Now we are ready to get our paint and air and start chronoing the shots. Cock your marker and air it up. Since we zeroed out the reg, the gun will not fire. Slowly turn your regulator's pressure up a quarter of a turn at a time until your marker is operating again. Now take a shot over the chrono. It's very likely that the first shot won't register because the velocity will be too low at this point. After that, turn the pressure up again another quarter turn and fire four purge shots. The purge shots make sure that the gun is shooting with the new pressure setting that we've just dialed in. Now chrono the gun again. By now it should be registering in the low 200s. Turn the pressure up again. Always remember to never turn it up more than a quarter turn at a time. And always take four purge shots in between every adjustment. It is good to take three measured shots each time to make sure you have a good idea of where your gun is shooting velocity wise, especially if you're using regular paintballs because they can have imperfections and other factors that can alter the chrono readings. Keep increasing the pressure and reading your shots until the readings show that the velocity has markably decreased rather than increased. 
This is what we are looking for. Simply decrease the pressure back to where it was when it was shooting at the highest velocity. Congratulations, you have just found the sweet spot. Plugging the data we just collected back into the chart confirms the bell curve. As we increase the velocity, there is a very easily definable point that we can identify as the sweet spot. If your regulator has a gauge on it, you can note the pressure at this point for future reference. The sweet spot will be different for every gun, however. Next, we will do the Black Magic autococker. For autocockers that have pneumatics, remember to cycle the gun after putting the ball into the chamber because the marker is closed bolt. I might sound like a broken record by now, but it's just a simple four step thing, chrono, adjust, purge, chrono. Rinse and repeat until you reach the sweet spot. Okay, let's finish with the graph again. Another definite bell curve with a clearly visible sweet spot. This really isn't a difficult process to do and the benefits easily outweigh the time it takes to do it. And also remember, after you have sweet spotted your marker, do not use your regulator to adjust the velocity. Use your internal velocity governor or you will ruin everything we have just worked so hard to accomplish. Well, that is everything for today. Thanks for watching everyone and have fun and stay safe on the field. I would like to thank A Plus Paintball and Deadly Winds for donating these barrels for testing. Both are awesome carbon fiber barrels and just go check them out. All right. Cheers, everyone.